So we've started learning about dividing with fractions. Um, today we're going to look at uh, day 124 at the um, dividing whole number by unit fraction um, homework page. Um, you should have this out taken out of your binder. Um, we're going to look at this together and talk about how to solve each problem. Okay. Remember the things that we talked about in class about the importance of really paying attention to what is said in the video, um, not fast forwarding or rushing through to just get the notes copied. Okay. We're going to look at number one first. And number one says an inchworm can crawl one third of a meter each day. How many days does it take the inchworm to call, crawl three meters? So I want to divide three divided by one third because this is the amount of days they want to give the inchworm to crawl and this is how much the inchworm can crawl each day. Okay, If I'm thinking 3 divided by 1 third I'm going to show that using a model. So I'm going to take 3 squares and I'm going to divide each square into three pieces because I'm dividing into thirds. And then I need to see how many thirds are in um, how many thirds are in all of these boxes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That means it will take the inchworm nine days to crawl three meters. I can check that by saying nine times one third doing the reverse operation. And what does that equal? That equals nine thirds. Nine divided by three equals three holes. So my answer is correct because my three matches here. Okay, we're going to move on to number two. Number two says the jewelry maker has he has bead bowls that hold two cups of beads. She uses a scoop that holds one fourth of a cup of beads. How many scoops will it take for the jeweler to find the bead bowl to fill the bead bowl? Excuse me. Okay, so she has a bead bowl that holds two cups. She uses a scoop that has one fourth cup. So I'm going to take the two cups that she has and divide it by the size of her scooper to figure out how many of those scoops she needs. Okay. So again, I'm going to draw two holes, and I'm going to put four sections in each hole. I'm going to count how many fourths I have. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that means she needs eight scoops. I can check it. Eight times one-fourth equals eight fourths. Eight divided by four equals two. And that matches the beginning of this equation, so that is correct. Okay, I'm gonna move on to number three. How many one fourth cup servings are in six cups of oatmeal. Okay, so this is taking six whole cups and dividing it by one fourth to figure out how many of those servings are in that size. Okay, I'm going to draw six boxes. and I'm going to split it into fourths. And I'm going to count how many fourths are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 21, 22, 23, 24, 
of the little fourths are there, so there's 24 servings. Number four, Marcus has two fun dips that he got for his birthday. He wants to savor the fun dip, so he only eats one third of the fun dip each day. How many days will it take him to eat the fun dip? Two packages divided by one third that he's going to eat each day will tell me how many days it'll take to eat the whole thing. So, I'm going to take two holes. I'm going to split it into thirds. Okay, then I'm going to count how many thirds I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six thirds, so my answer is six days. Okay, <clears throat> I want you to check your work for number three and number four, and I also want you to check your work for number five that I'm about to do. Um, I should see that in your notes. Um, that you went back and you checked it with a multiplication equation for 3, 4, and 5. Okay, number 5. Mrs. Perkins has four bags of sugar. She uses one-fifth of a bag of sugar each time she makes lemonade. How many times can she make lemonade before she runs out? So four bags divided by one-fifth. Take four boxes and split them into fifths. My pen's running out on me. All right. Then I'm going to count how many fifths I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So my answer is twenty. Um, uh, she can make twenty uh, batches of lemonade. And that's the problems we're solving.